Greetings, fellow explorers. In this video, we will continue our journey into the 12 zodiacal energies, exploring each one as an archetypal facet of the human psyche. In our last video, we explored Libra energy and discussed the importance of balancing our inner chaos in order to radiate genuine harmony. We also observed the importance of understanding and integrating each sign into our personalities for the purpose of having a more balanced life experience. Indeed, as we come to learn more about each zodiacal energy, we discover greater compassion and empathy towards ourselves and others. Following these same principles, we will now continue our journey through the zodiac wheel. In this video, we will explore Scorpio energy. As with all topics in the occult, the absolute nature of Scorpio cannot be defined. We all have subjective relationships with each of the astrological signs, and so, therefore, no definitive boundaries exist which fully encapsulate the meaning of Scorpionic energy. However, major patterns do exist within the collective consciousness of our times. In this way, we can identify experiences that distinctly belong to the great cosmic scorpion. In this video, we will focus on practical details. Specifically, we will explore a few ways in which we can use this archetype to grow and develop our consciousness on a daily basis. Scorpio is the alchemist within. Known for its inclination towards darkness and mystery, this sign is considered the most intense of the zodiac energies. Now, we must begin to understand the meaning behind this reputation. The function of mature Scorpio energy is not simply to dwell in the depths of crisis and chaos. Rather, Scorpio is designed to attract darkness so that it may transmute the unknown into the known. This is otherwise known as shadow work and may be considered the highest form of alchemy. Scorpio is also a water sign. Water is universally known to contain mysteries. Its still, silent depths conceal secrets that we cannot perceive with our bare senses alone. However, rather than darting into the bottomless pits like a shark, Scorpio functions by attracting the darkness. In astrology, the scorpion is associated with the metal iron. Iron is known to be highly magnetic. Many occultists say that you can see this in the eyes of a Scorpio-centric person. There is something about the gaze of a Scorpio which draws others close, as if hypnotized. While this may appear glamorous, it spells chaos for the Scorpion. Indeed, a Scorpio-centric individual will draw in people and situations that represent various magnitudes of crisis. A crisis is not necessarily something which threatens a person's life. Rather, it is a period of intensity and challenge. In order to survive, a person facing crisis must regulate their nervous system while maintaining a sharp mind and sense of intention. On the other side of turbulence is wisdom. By going through intensity, one discovers where they are strong and where they must grow. In this way, crises represent opportunities for the scorpion to alchemize chaos into something of higher value. In the context of shadow work, the scorpion grows stronger and more powerful with each passing trial. Indeed, the crises of yesterday will reappear in the future as nothing more than harmless distractions to a mature Scorpio. We see now why the Scorpion is naturally intense and suspicious. Undiluted Scorpionic energy is a magnet for the unknown, and so it must always be ready to face unpredictable circumstances. While this orientation is important at times, it can become detrimental if left unchecked. The immature Scorpio will find it difficult to let things go. As a fixed sign, its natural inclination is to lock chaos-inducing content between its pincers, remaining laser-focused on penetrating the depths of the situation until some kind of closure or understanding has been reached. In this way, 
the immature Scorpio subjects themselves to prolonged bouts of emotional turmoil, fear, confusion and revenge. Being unable to relax this mode of intensity, the immature Scorpio destroys themselves in their attempt to alchemize the darkness in all things. In order to exist in its most mature, highest vibration, Scorpio must become balanced. As discussed in our previous video on zodiacal energies, no sign reaches its highest form until it begins to harmonize with every other sign. In particular, signs have the most to learn from that which lies opposite to them on the zodiac wheel. In this case, Scorpio lies opposite to Taurus. Unlike Scorpio, Taurus leans towards calmness and relaxation. As an earth sign, it is more concerned with enjoying the stability of our everyday lives, rather than constantly facing the fearsome mysteries that Scorpio finds so irresistible. Taurus is considered materialistic. This does not mean that it is necessarily shallow, but rather that it derives comfort from the earthly pleasures of everyday existence. In this way, it does not take things as seriously as Scorpio. Of course, Taurus and Scorpio are both fixed signs. They both have a way of pulling people, things and situations closer to themselves. However, where a Scorpio operates on magnetism, the earthy nature of Taurus behaves more like gravity. In this way, it attracts people and situations that bring it closer to a state of comfort and stability. What we learn from this is that in order to reach a more livable and sustainable state of being, Scorpio must integrate the wisdom of Taurus. By spending time with the bull, the scorpion learns to relax and enjoy life. It learns that not everything is meant to be a crisis. Sometimes the surface value of a person or situation is enough and should be appreciated for what it is right here and now. In this way, the sign of a mature Scorpio is their ability to control their penetrative inclinations and to bask in the glory of life as it is. Scorpio is the natural shadow worker of the Zodiac. While it is respected and feared for its ability to penetrate and survive the most fearsome uncertainties, it can lead itself into ruin by refusing to let go of that which produces chaos. Fortunately, as Scorpio opens up and begins to learn from its zodiacal family, it develops more control over its own powers. In this way, Scorpio learns to avoid being consumed by darkness and the emotional trauma that comes with shadow work. As we develop our Scorpio energy, we learn to recognize the darkness within ourselves and others. Thus, we come to appreciate that all of us share the daunting task of internal alchemy. We learn to neither run from, nor become addicted to, the pain of self-transformation. Rather, by embodying the wisdom of the scorpion, we accept what comes into our lives, while facing our traumas with boldness. Above all, the mature scorpio discovers that alchemy is not a cycle of endless crises, but rather, the art of turning fear into love. Thank you for joining us today, fellow explorers. Until next time, stay strong, remain curious, and continue to follow your higher selves.